Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ladies, gentlemen, gamers, and fellow League of Legends. Welcome back to another League Reaction. Today, we finally, or technically yesterday, because I'm always fashionably... Oh my god, it's two days, never mind. I'm always fashionably late to the party. We finally have, hopefully, some more details about the PvE game modes. This is going to be breaking it down. I literally know nothing about this yet, and let me just make sure there's nothing else out. Uh, no, there's not. Cool. So, even though it says I saw the whole video, I did not at all. So, this is going to be our first time going in straight raw, checking it out, seeing what it is. Now, I made a previous reaction with my fellow elders of League of Legends because we are old men and we've played this game for... Man, how long has it been? Over almost 10 years? It's been about 10 years since I've been playing League. Holy shit. But, uh, you know, we don't have the elders with us, but that's fine because I'm the greatest of us all. Either way, uh, to kind of recap from last video when we reacted to the trailer for it, kind of our fears, our hopes, and dreams for this. Number one, we hope it's replayable. Number two... We hope it doesn't feel like shit. And number three, and this is my personal hope, I really, really hope we can play this while in queue. That's probably a really big pipe dream, but I'm always going to hope and, and keep believing for it, just like the return of Surrender at 20. Rest in peace, Surrender at 20. But, you know, that third one, that last one, we're, we're probably not going to get that one. But either way, let's take a look at what this looks like. Hopefully this gives us a lot of nice, juicy detail. So let's take a look. Oh, 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 oh. Finally, Riot is bringing back a PV. Oh, game someone's talking about it. You are able to too. play solo up to four. So, for those of you who don't know, this is also supposed to be kind of similar to Vampire Survivors. But again, like I said, this is where I'm a little scared because number one, and I said this all in like the other videos too. Uh, uh, excuse me. Number one, I'm really, really worried that it's not going to look too, too well because League is sort of made in a certain way. And obviously, this is the first iteration. If they stay, if they keep it, if they improve it, I would personally love that, but who knows if they're going to do that. But it might look really rough because blowing up these certain models, and I especially saw it for Aatrox, blowing up Aatrox's model to the size that it is in Rek'Sai's models as well, it doesn't look too good. Now, obviously they have custom models for this shit, or not custom models, custom uh, skins. I doubt they made custom models, but these are all just repurposed things from the game already. I doubt they really made too many new things. But, um... Another thing is, it's probably going to feel and look clunky because they probably didn't have as much time to put polish on it. There's a lot of things in League that sort of feel a little iffy. One of the things is kind of like the battle sled and, by instance, you could say like Herald. And they feel pretty alright now over time, but they did feel a little rough around the edges. And I'm really scared for this because based on how it looked, it looked like these things were kind of, I don't want to say hodgepodge together, but very very iffy but you know let's let's keep watching all friends and should be balanced in a way where holy shit look at this shit or with your friends people Here's always uh people always have the complaint and i know i just unpaused it but people always have the complaint they have no clue what the fuck is going on in league of legends and i'm gonna be honest it's a valid complaint and there's a lot to know with regular league but looking at this it's like holy shit what's happening Expect. Similar to Vampire Survivors, <laughs> like, look at this shit. eliminate enemies, get XP, pick augments, survive until the boss spawns. Oh Except my god. I don't have a full list of playable- That Seraphine skin is hot. I, I swear to god, and I mentioned this again in the other video, it really looks like this is like the better project skin now. It's anime themed, and it's like light colored, neon colors, I love those shits. But man, do these skins look fucking good, man. I almost thought this was a uh, misfortune for a second, but it's Leona. Another Leona skin, by the way, whoop de doo champions but it seems most that's of that's skin oh my god that yasuo skin holy shit he's a cat boy Squad team will be playing Yumi as well allow me is where things are really interesting it's was so wasd no more clicking around and each champion has wait two active ability. wait what Let's you don't click Jinx, around example. anymore okay. Holy shit, what? I need to raise this. I need to actually listen to this. The E-Active, fish bones, fires homing rockets, and nearby enemies. There's a giant fucking train that looks like it could be, um, Scion These almost. But roots her in place. And her R, her what? ultimate, is the same as usual, just fire a giant ass rocket. There's huh. gonna be four levels and begins Damn. with a story-based progression system. So it's, it's not like an infinite map like Vampire Survivors. Vampire Survivors is like an infinite map, even though it's basically the same thing every corner you go. Each map wow. will also have their own boss. The four bosses will be Rek'Sai, Briar, Belvat. Oh my god, Briar saw it. Dude, these skins are so hot. I hope to dear god they put these in the... I hope and pray 
These are amazing. And Aatrox. Holy shit, like, look at that shit. Aatrox, with Rek'Sai being the first boss, as well as the easiest, and Aatrox okay. is the final boss. So Aatrox is the big baddie. You can cool. expect him to use map-wide abilities. Other wow. things you'll be able to see in this mode are these random spires that can spawn. There'll be three different types, the first being the Misfortune Spire. Only one fuck? person will need to reach and capture the Spire. The reward it will give will be temp, but very powerful. Then there's the Yumi Tower. Everyone in the Why team will need to reach the tower in order to capture it. When you the capture fuck? it, it will spawn a minigame such as bounce a ball, play football. I like how Yumi's an AI, it says Yumi AI. <laughs> or retrieve cardboard boxes for Yumi. This is interesting. The reward from this Spire will be permanent. Oh. The last spire is the Prime Origin Spire, which will spawn an event that will try to- This stupid cannon, the way it looks, is so cute. Oh my god. Wipe you all out. Such as dropping meteors from the sky, or reducing okay. your vision, god, or making you small, reducing your movement speed. It really the is reward... like- I'm glad it's not one-to-one -one vampire survivors, because usually a lot of times what ends up happening- And, you know, this is for better or for worse. Everyone does this to a certain point. WoW did it, League did it. I mean, look, League and Dota are basically um, offshoots of WoW, I believe. But um, I like how they're not straight, straight copying it. They're taking it and they're putting their own spin on it. Now, whether that's an improvement or not, we'll see. I still think Vampire Survivors, as an avid Vampire Survivors player, is an extremely, extremely good game, especially for the price point. Now, if Vampire Survivors costed $100, I would say, okay, this is kind of ridiculous. But the fact that Vampire Survivors is so cheap and has as much as it has and is the way it is, is insane. Like, I, I could make a whole video about that. I won't, though. But, um, I mean, obviously League is free, so we're already getting, like, better value than that, than Vampire Survivors, technically. I just really hope they have good rewards, and this is kind of something Elijah said as well in the other video. I really, really hope they give us good rewards. Why would we play this? Aside from it's fun and it's cool, sure, right? It's the whole question of replayability. Now, this is where the League audience comes to League for PvP action. PvE is nice, and it was a great breath of fresh air, especially with Odyssey, but you're not going to really find, at least I believe, people coming to League to play this. It's going to be you're trying to attract the PvP already players, the people who want to dement themselves in the Rift, or the cool people who enjoy Aaron, or the more recent Arena. What's for it, though, is going to be a lot of XP Holy and shit. gold, which you'll be able to spend in the out-of-game progression system. Oh! Which brings me on to replayability. So there's go, going to be achievements, right? I've said okay. there's going to be difficulty settings, as okay. well as, like I just said, an out-of-game progression system. I like how Yasuo just has, like, MF's guns shooting in front of him. ...system that will give you power-ups, which yeah. will help a lot in order to try beat these harder difficulties. I like that. Oh. So eventually, it, it is kind of like a roguelike, where you just get, like, permanent upgrades. So eventually, it will become easier. Bro, I am very excited to try this out. I haven't yet. I, I didn't hear anything about, like, rewards, though. So I'm a little scared. Unfortunately, wasn't invited to LA, like, uh, Bandriel, Necra, uh, Dumbs. So you can check out their um, channels in the meantime <laughs> to see additional footage of the game mode. Uh, but it Crazy how Dumbs is so big in the community now. We'll be on the PvE next week with a global release in July. Hopefully, I'll okay, fire up a stream month. next week and catch you there. And as wow. always, thank you to the Riot Partner Program for providing the footage and information. But you can see the minions are like little Nefiri dogs. <laughs> they look like Nefiri. Wow. Okay, damn. I mean, that didn't give us as much information as I wanted. It did give us some juicy information, though. But, um, wow. That is uh, pretty interesting. That is pretty, also pretty interesting. Uh, looking through it, I mean, I'm definitely excited. If they don't have rewards, I feel like it's going to be sad. Achievements are cool, but sadly, I'm not a little kid anymore. If I was a little kid, I'd care way, way more about achievements. Now I'm an adult who's jaded with the world. I really don't care. But uh, this looks pretty interesting. At the very least, hopefully, I'll... I mean, obviously, I'm going to play it on stream at Twitch TV, so it's Technic Channel, but hopefully we'll decide to really spread it wide open and get everything just to prove i'm the ultimate gamer which i am but uh this looks pretty good i'm glad we got this little information and i can't wait to play it but either way that's gonna be it i hope everyone enjoyed please watch me at twitch tv channel and uh ooh, ooh.